Oh yeah, we are in July 1st, 2023 with another video, another crypto CPU mining video for you guys. Again, this is all for fun. You're not going to get rich doing this crap, but it's just kind of interesting to see what you can do with some hardware. It's not like the old GPU mining days back in the day. With Ethermine mining pool and the Ethermine proof of work, Ethereum proof of work mining, those were the good old days. Yeah, now well, those are gone. Now it's Ethereum proof of stake, all that crap. Anyway, what are we talking about? Let me check something real quick here. Y'all stand by. We are sticking at on a Bitcoin right now at 30,614 schmackaroos. ETH is at. Wow, 1900, not too bad. Litecoin, oh, Litecoin, baby. Litecoin may be the one to watch. Is at 105.73. Dogecoin, Dogecoin is at 0 0.068. And I just made a video of U.S. Representative, aka shyster criminal corrupt politician Mark Green making 800% on his Dogecoin trades. Hey, if you ain't, if you don't want to work and do anything in your life, just become a politician and just take all the money. There you go. That's the game. Red pill yourself. The Matrix, they know how to play the game, and uh, they want you to be broke. But you can follow them and make money, too. Just follow their purchases and sales, and you never know. You might do just as good as them on a measly 160000 salary as a civil pukey servant and uh, become a multimillionaire. Amazing how that works, man. Really amazing. It's just unbelievable. But let's get back to the matter at hand. We have CPU mining on NiceHash. Why NiceHash? It's easy. They set it up for you. They let you download a uh, NiceHash quick miner. Uh, makes life so easy. Just to install it on your um, <clears throat> on your CPU rig. I am running Windows. Why not? It's crap, but it works. Um, Linux is good too. But I just Windows is easy for me. Just download the stuff, run it. Boom restart your rig you got the old nice hash miner let me show you let me show you poof it in the pudding let's go to one of my riggers all right rigs right here is uh let's see this is running a ryzen we got a cpu one amd ryzen 9 3900x 12 core processor and uh let's see it's running at 10.264 kilohash per second and there's my profitability. It's now about 65 cents. It was a lot higher the other few days, about 80 something cents per CPU on these Ryzen 3900s. And you can see what my unpaid balance is on this rig. Let's go to a different CPU. I got one one off here. Uh, I don't know what this one's doing. Oh, this one, I'm sorry. This screen's all messed up. I'm not gonna show you that. That's a 3950. But if you go to the nice hash dashboard. So anyway, here, let me show you this crap. Here's your dashboard. It shows you basically what you're getting one CPU. You can also have your GPUs running. Nice hash will determine what hardware you have and start running crap on it. I just do the CPU right now. There you go. Same. There's the profitability. You can do benchmarks. Look at that. You can do the benchmarks on the algorithms. This is on the random X Monero algorithm. They also have a um, excavator miner, XM rig miner. They have all the different miners you can download. Uh, and install as plugins, LOL, Miner, blah, 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 blah. You know, there are a billion out there, right? Yeah, go check it out. All right, plugins, whatever. Here, let me see what the plugin shows me. There you go. Nano Miner, XM Rig, G Miner, NB Miner, LOL Miner. Okay, just, it's like a religion. Pick the one you like and stick with it, right? All right, let's go back to the dashboard. Z dashboard. Z dashboard is showing, <clears throat> what are we showing? Oh, about 520 a day on six. <coughs> Whoa, I'm all clogged up. I'm so excited over making five bucks for the day. I just can't speak. Again, it's all for fun. I'm just knocking it because it's silly. Uh, uh, my power bill has dropped per kilowatt hour. They cranked it when the Biden regime took over with all the fake wars and crap. And uh, they cranked the electricity cost due to fake natural gas crisis up 70, 80 percent. That's when I stopped GPU mining because I was losing lots of money and generating heat in an already hot house. So now uh, electricity has kind of gone back to normal. Not like It's almost like gasoline. They raise it a lot. Then they lower it and act like you're saving money, but it's still like 100% over than when it was in 2020. You know, read between the lines, right? So 
CPU mining's awesome because you make pennies on a day, but you're not you're not burning much power. You're not generating all that much heat, so it's kind of interesting, a fun little hobby. And now you see it drop 4.76. This this page on a nice hash updates every minute. I'm looking for the here it is. This little ticker right here, 24 seconds to go, and it will update. God, how long is this video? Oh my God, way too long. Sorry, I hate wasting people's time, but. Here you go, 476, six of six devices up in the upper left. Next payout period is in 50 minutes, 19 seconds. And what that means, it takes my unpaid balance of 53 pennies, 53 pennies, and pays me out into my Bitcoin wallet, which will bump me up. Oh, I'll be at 17 bucks or something. And there's my Bitcoin balance. So if anything, you're getting Bitcoin, which will probably go to $1 trillion per coin soon. And uh, yeah, you'll be fine, right? Eh, that's the wish, right? Um, yeah, so here are my rigs. Nothing magical here. Pretty straightforward. Interface is nice. Uh, I used to do this crap for a living. So it, interface is smooth, easy to understand, and uh, makes sense. And if you... <clears throat> boy, I'm, I can't breathe. Sorry, folks. Sorry, folks. Here, if you expand each row, you will see what you saw on each individual rig. AMD Ryzen 9 3900X 12 core, baby. 12 core running at 10.52. I know I can tweak these things. I know I can go into the AMD Ryzen Master app. I know I can go through, change some of these clocks, um, these speed settings using NiceHash as well. But I just don't want to mess with it. It's running fine. It's just for fun right now. And I don't want to blow these CPUs out because I want to sell them one day and recoup most of my money. That's the goal. If you can recoup most of your money, you know, it's like you're just playing for free, right? Number seven. Come on, buddy. Big money, big money, big money. Same same, uh, same CPU. Different little kilo hash. Difference. Uh, look at this one. So this is what I got to figure out. This one is running at 12.68 kilo hash. This one's running at 10. It's just, and I reset them to factory specs. So I'm, I'm mostly an idiot and lazy. I don't want to mess with them anymore and tweak them or overclock them because I don't want to fry them. So 10.28 seems to be average. 12 is the 3950, which is running at 9. That's ridiculous. There's something wrong there. That should be at 16. So I got to figure out what's going on with that one. And uh, let's see. Yeah, so most of the Ryzen 9 3900X 12 core processors by default, when you install a nice hash miner on your rig, will we'll basically benchmark it and give you 10.3. Again, like I said, you could probably go in and mess with the uh, settings and your AMD Ryzen. Uh, master software configurator or your um, speed settings on nice hash. I'm fine with this. This is just for fun. So there you go. That is my latest update. Look at that. 20 bucks. This is a few days. What's my power bill going to be? Probably 50 bucks. So that's that's the nature of this stupid cripple mine, you guys. It's all for fun. It's all entertainment. You're playing with hardware. You're learning hardware. You're learning kind of software, a little bit of how to use software, configure it, which is not a bad skill. You may get a job from it even as a consultant or just going and say, hey, I mess with crypto stuff. I understand CPU, overclock settings, speed settings. I know how to tweak them. I know how to use applications to tweak them. I know how to install them, configure them. I know how to use software to go in and co communicate with them. And I understand it's just the um, statistics behind them. And that is not a bad skill to have. And if you do your resume right, you can market that and maybe get hired making some bucks doing remote crypto or remote software type consulting work, you know, systems engineering, uh, hardware stuff, which is fun because you're working with your hands, like working on a car without all the grease uh, and losing fingers. You might get shocked, but make sure the power is off on the uh, UPS supply. That's all I got. I'm rambling, maybe. I'm rambling. So it's out there, CPU mining, GPUs. I don't know, guys. That's a lot of power, a lot of heat. A lot of guys made these little stupid, uh, <laughs> these crypto mining sheds and put all this money into it. I went... I get it. It's a hobby. I understand. It. I'm all for it. But if you're trying to make money, that's not the way to go. You're basically losing money with your overhead costs if, or maybe breaking even. I don't know. Or you're just going to mine and hold with the hope this stuff goes through the roof. And at which time you'll be taxed to death and uh, probably lose all your money through taxation with the uh, regime in control. Yeah, there you go, folks. Go forth. Go forth and crypto mine, do great things, and or just buy the damn stuff on an exchange. Move it to a wallet on your on your desktop or a hard wallet, and just sit, you know, put it somewhere and forget about it. Lots of choices.
<laughs> just keeping it real, man. Just keeping it real for the average, <clears> they're <throat> the common working man like me. All right, I am out. I'm losing my voice. I'm going to go, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know. Talk to you later. Bye.